Hey guys, we're here today at Universal Studios. Yep, and we have a lot to discuss here today. Is Pokemon coming to Universal Orlando Resort? And with Epic Universe just a year and a half away, there is a lot to discuss. A lot of recent updates. Yeah, so join us along the way, guys. Yeah. So it looks like now there is an exclusive pass holder entrance. So we're going to follow the arrow. Yeah, usually they do this for Islands of Adventure, but it's cool now they have it for Universal Orlando. I appreciate it. Me too. <laughs> So they're advertising Real Housewives of Beverly Hills on Peacock. And I just have to say, I do not like Garcelle. She is just a, such a pot stir. And she, I don't think she really adds anything to the show. I feel like she's just there. Like, oh, I, I'm just going to complain. And then she uses like different comments to say, oh, I'm triggered. I don't know. She's just been very annoying on the show. I think they could recast her. <laughs> You guys know Vanderpump Rules is coming back. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Like there is no one here for this side. This is amazing. You would think it was like vlogger privilege. No, it's annual pass holder privilege. <laughs> Just taking it in once again. So glad to be back at Universal. Oh yeah. It's been too long. You know, we have places to go, people to see. Yeah. We were busy. It was the holiday season. Exactly. But now we're back. And it feels good to be back. It feels so good to be back. Hello, mystery machine. How you doing? How you been? Still parked here? No tickets? No tickets? <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is almost as crowded as Rockefeller. Oh, yeah. If you haven't checked that video out, be sure to do so. We had a great time in the city and it was reinvigorating for our content. Oh, for yeah. us. Great to see family. Yeah. And speaking of our content, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. Hit that notification bell because who knows when we'll upload. Exactly. We don't know. Nope. <laughs> you guys may notice a lot of people are wearing like long sleeves, pants, jackets. It's a very chilly day here. Yep. But for some reason, at this specific point in the park, I can almost feel the heat. <gasps> Lots of progress has been made. As you guys can see, DreamWorks Land is in full throttle development. Yep. Apparently, Something very important happened. A stump was moved. Yup, yup. <laughs> a stump, you know. A stump. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's very important theme park news, especially as DreamWorks Land continues to progress, as expected. Yes. To open up later this year. Oh, wow, later this year. Yup. We already met Shrek. Yes, we so did. So we saw him at his summer house. Maybe this is his regular house. Yeah. All right. So sorry, but we have to interrupt this program for some updates. So we found the vacationer here at Universal, and um, we wanted to ask this young man, how is his vacation going? How is my vacation going? You know, I watch all these videos. They say, come in January, come in January. I'm here, and look at all of these construction walls. I, I posted pictures on my Instagram, and my friend said to me, what are you, still in New York? I said to him, no, that was a few weeks ago. I'm at Universal Orlando. Oh, so are you saying that people don't believe that you are um, at Universal? They don't believe I'm at Universal because there's a bunch of construction walls. Is it sort of like that Bow Wow challenge? <laughs> sort of like that. <laughs> so we reached our part of the video where we come to Springfield. Yep. And as you guys know, this could be rumored to be gone. Yep. And hello to you people who look in the camera when we're <laughs> recording. Hello to you. Please subscribe if you see this video. Yeah. <laughs> but it's rumored that this could be replaced with Pokemon. Yep. And it can start as soon as this year. We may wow. start to see the Simpsons ride shut down this year or next year. Oh my God. Yep. So if you guys have never had one of those big pink donuts, be sure to get it now while you still can. Yeah. I wonder if someone will buy this, like this Lat Lat Donuts. What yeah, if they I, sold this? That would be awesome. Can you, what do you think someone would pay for that? Uh, 
depends on how big of a Simpsons fan they are, really. Yeah. <laughs> At least probably 20 grand. Yeah, I can see that. Yep. Get R2 D2 or you can get that. Yep. <laughs> Maybe John Stamos will buy it. Yeah, but he's a Disney fan. He's a Disney fan. Yeah, he's a so Disney we have to find fan. Universal. It's a celebrity. Yeah. Allegedly, what was the guy's James Cameron? He was here. Okay. From Titanic. Yeah, and Janet Jackson. Is and Janet yeah. Jackson, but she's pretty stylish, so I don't think she'll want that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> she's low key. Yeah. You're like, there's where Janet Jackson lives. Look at that big ass donut. Yep. <laughs> so I'm wondering, what could this really look like if this was like Ash and the Pokemon? So I'm really curious what they will do with that. Yeah. Like, if you play these games, will you win a Pokemon? Right. <laughs> I hope for one, it's less congested. Yeah. So, Pokemon Land, possibly replacing Springfield, USA. Oh. You would think that they would save that for Epic mm -hmm. Universe as like an expansion pack. But I mean, you do want everybody to come to all of the parks, right? Yeah, you do. You want to constantly, you know, update them, renovate them, refurbish them as they're starting to deteriorate one by one. Yeah. So you don't have to do like a whole park overhaul. You know? Yeah. Especially as they're now about to add like a third gate. That's like an official theme park attractions gate. Yeah. Um, and you see how, how complicated that could be for other um, amusement parks or vacation spots to maintain, especially as demand comes through. Yeah, it gets harder for these companies to say, "All right, let's let's slow down and stop this very popular attraction to refurbish it," knowing we're still going to have a lot of demand and we don't know where to place these people for their entertainment. Yeah, and Pokemon is the top IP in the world. At least last time I checked, it yeah. was the top IP in the world. Um, and we did create a video similar to this last year talking about epic universe yeah and um yeah so it makes sense that they would bring pokemon here but what kind of attractions could they have what kind of pokemon rides could they have um so i would hope that they would do something that's kind of like toy story mania but yeah. instead of you shooting balls like regular balls to knock things over that the balls are actually pokeballs and on the screen is like little pokemon and then the different types of Pokemon, like the more rare ones, give you higher points. So I, like I think that would be cool. And I think it will also be cool if they have like uh, plushy replicas of like the actual rare ones that you can get. Oh. Like on, in the merch store on your way out. So the ones that you were just catching and trying to get, the very rare ones, like if you caught it, then you're like eligible to get the rare plushy. Like that would be awesome I like in that. the secondary market yeah. too. Because they'll be like, I have the rare, like, what was the Charizard? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. rare Charizard. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. Like, I didn't even think about that, but it's like, that would be awesome if you're only eligible, if you could catch that Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, I know some people hate the secondary market, but I mean, that would make the ride more fun. And, it would. Right? Like, who wouldn't want to be eligible to it get the rare Pokemon? It gives a lot of replay value, too. Yeah. Because we know as gamers, like... Oh, it's something like I need to platinum this. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep playing until I get that. Yeah. So it gives a lot of replay value for the guests. Like, no, I want to get on this again, mom and dad, because yeah. I didn't get Charizard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I love that idea. Let us know in the comments below. Do you like that idea? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's get into the Epic Universe lands now. And let's start with the one I think most people are probably most excited about, Super Nintendo World. Yes, I'm so excited for Super Nintendo World. Yeah. And I know they have, you know, Super Nintendo World Hollywood, Super Nintendo World Japan. Yeah. But this is for a different caliber. This is the next tier because they are going to include the Donkey Kong roller coaster. Yep, so we have the Donkey Kong minecart coming to Super Nintendo World at Epic Universe here in Orlando, which is the only Super Nintendo World that is going to have that. Thank you. So good, good things come to those who wait. Yes. <laughs> yep. It's kind of like how we have Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure here yeah. in Orlando. Yeah. And that is an amazing ride. It is. Um, I 
think it's going to be interesting what else the Wizarding World is going to have over there. Yeah. Because I believe it's, like, rumored that J.K. Rowling has it in her contract that she has to, like, have the most thrilling ride at the park. That is true. I so, have heard that. If Dueling Dragons from uh, How to Train Your Dragon is going to be, like, an intense coaster, yeah. that means there has to be something more intense for the Wizarding World. Yeah, that, that I mean that is true, right? There there should be something more intense because she does have that in her contract that she yeah. has to have the best ride at each park. And then you have the Donkey Kong minecart, which I mean, as somebody who played that as a kid, I mean, I, I am just foaming at the mouth. Like yeah. I cannot wait to get on that attraction. I can't wait either. It's gonna be awesome. Like I'm not gonna watch any POVs. We don't watch other like channels now because it's, no. it's one of those things like to me it's a creative block yeah to see what other people are doing like i don't i can't watch it anymore but i'm going to really control myself like out of curiosity do not watch a donkey kong roller coaster hopefully we will be there day one i hope so whenever yeah. it's opening and then we will be able to capture everything and just go in there blind and just ah! uh -huh. I am so excited. 2025 cannot come fast enough. No, I'm thinking it's going to be epic. Yeah. Pun intended. Pun intended. <laughs> Soon Mardi Gras will be back, guys. Yep. Just a couple more weeks. Just a couple more weeks. Celebrating Mardi Gras. Yep. So let's get into some of the attractions already announced. Well, not technically announced, but I mean, we all know, right? Yeah. We all know there's going to be a Wizarding World at Epic Universe and the Elder Wand just recently arrived at Epic oh, Universe. Nice. Yeah. So um one of the attractions is obviously the Ministry of Magic. And it is gonna use the same ride vehicle as Spider Man and Transformers, known as the Scoop ride vehicle. Oh, that's an unusual name. Scoop. Yeah. Scoop. Yeah. Cool. So what do you think of this attraction? Um, so to me, it sounds like it makes sense, right? You want to have like a reliable ride system that very rarely ever goes down. Yeah. Especially for a new theme park. Like when do you ever That's see something happening with Spider-Man or Transformers? You really never you do. Really You're right. Don't. It's indoor in case it rains. It's something that a lot of people enjoy. So you kind of, that seems like that's going to be like the moderate ride. Like everyone, it's a family friendly attraction. Yeah. So that sounds pretty cool. Um, I did see that you told me that it was supposed to be like Dolores Umbridge yeah. was going to be in there and like some creatures. So I think the storytelling is going to be really compelling. Mm -hmm. Um, I hope it's more like Spider-Man and less like Transformers. Yeah. Because I love like the effects of like the fire you get some of the water like that just makes it so much more exciting i agree it does make it so much more exciting um i'm excited for that attraction yeah and at one point there was going to be a vr attraction oh. where you were flying on a broomstick oh my god but um they're no longer doing that <laughs> i could see why though could you imagine if they have like those like makeshift broomsticks and then as people say i fail my yeah. <laughs> get my lawyer <laughs> Very good point. Yeah. <laughs> I can see why they cut it. So another one of the highly rumored lands for Epic Universe. I mean, really, nothing's really rumored at this point. We all we all know it's going to happen, right? Yeah. But <laughs> it's pretty certain. It's pretty certain. But is the Universal Monsters Land. Yes. And from the sounds of it, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. I know everyone was thinking like a Universal Monsters Land and you kind of think about the black and white films, mm -hmm. but it's also just like classic noir, like horror. Like yeah. that is perfection to me. And so it sounds like they're actually going to be doing a coaster that's similar to Disney's Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. And that sounds amazing. It does sound amazing, and it's supposed to be Wolfman themed. Oh, so God. I'm really curious about that ride. Yeah. I have heard Universal is planning to pull out all of the stops for this land. And it does make sense, right? The monsters, the Universal monsters, are some of Universal's biggest IP. Yeah. And of course, they come around during Halloween Horror Nights. 
But it's kind of crazy they don't have a land until now, right? Yeah, and with all the merchandising, I could just imagine, like, I feel like that ride is going to be like a haunted house on coaster wheels. Oh, like, yeah. I feel like you're going to be turning oh, man. into the As you turn, jump scare. Dude, you are getting me really excited for this attraction. Yeah. <laughs> well, you and I know we're the hype people, man. We are. We're the hype people. But, yeah. You know, I can't wait. I'm super excited. What's funny is I don't even think that's supposed to be the main attraction for this land. The yeah. main attraction is supposed to be in Frankenstein's Manor, and oh, it's basically wow. going to be Forbidden Joe. Oh, okay. Universal Monsters. Thing. Could you just have, like, just close your eyes, guys, and listen to my voice? But could you imagine getting on a ride that's like Forbidden Journey, and you hear the eerie... Dun -dun -dun! Oh, man. Dracula music and you're being lifted off like it looks like you're going upstairs and as you turn it's just like creepiness and then you have Dracula you have the Wolfman you have Frankenstein, Frankenstein yeah. I hope Frankenstein's at the end like for the finale when it oh, pushes yeah. us like off the cliff <laughs> yeah. oh, I hope my that's God. what happens to us like we're in, at the top of the house and you just see like oh I, that's what I want yeah I, it just sounds awesome. I am getting so excited, and yeah. I can't believe it's only about a year and a half away. A year and a half away, and this is going to be a crazy ride. Like, oh yeah, I am so excited, Universal. Me Thank too. you guys for creating another park for us to just enjoy. Absolutely. <laughs> So as previously discussed, obviously Epic Universe is going to feature the How to Train Your Dragons roller coaster. And besides that, I mean, we have seen, already seen pictures of that. Yeah, right? we saw I it. I think we probably I all seen that. I think you could do an aerial drone shot. Like, people have footage of that thing. Yeah. Like, it's no secret what's Ex happening. Yeah, exactly. So we're not going to waste you guys' time here. I mean, we're not going to discuss that. But there is another attraction coming to the How to Train Your Dragons land. And it's an interactive boat ride. Yeah, and the way I'm getting it is that it's supposed to be like a dark boat ride where you're allowed to interact with the environment. So it kind of is giving me Pirates of the Caribbean vibes. Yeah. Only which part of it is going to be interactive, I can't say. Um, That part yeah. is a little interesting to me because I'm like, what are you going to be doing on a boat ride? Is it going to be guns? Like, But then that's not really what they did in How to Train Your Dragon. So yeah. have you guys... So seeing that movie, do you have any ideas of what could be used to interact with the environment? I've never seen that movie, so I don't have anything to add here. I saw it like a long time ago when I was babysitting. And okay. I just, it was, a good, it was cute. It was like a very cute story. I just don't know though. Yeah. I mean, it sounds fun. And Universal is going in the direction of having like a more intense ride and then a tame, like family friendly ride. Yeah. So I think that's smart to balance it out because this place. When they open it, <laughs> you're going to want to be here. Yeah, yeah. It's it's going to blow us all away, right? Yeah, so make sure you're subscribed because we're going to be there to see everything, do everything, try everything. Yep. And we want to bring you guys along the way. Yeah, and hit that notification bell because, like I said earlier, you don't know when we'll upload. Yeah, and we hope you enjoy the content when you do get a chance to watch it. Thank you guys so much for your support. Love running into Beetlejuice. Be so much fun. Yeah. Okay, so since we're here to speak about Epic Universe, let's also speak about the new Epic Universe hotels coming. Yes, this I am so excited about yep. because they have two of them that allegedly are going to be space themed. Yep. So it's starting off with a Stella Nova and Terra Luna. Yep. So I don't know about you guys, but to me, Stella Nova kind of makes me think of a sunburst. So I feel like you're going to get a really bright and like cosmic uh, hotel. And then Terra Luna seems like it's going to be kind of moody and dark. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm very curious how it's going to be themed because they kind of like to do hotels that play off of each other at universal yeah kind of like how they have sapphire falls yeah and then they have the other one which is royal pacific royal pacific and i was thinking about the one that's right next door that's like sterilized 
looking. Oh, Aventura? Aventura, the one at yes. the hospital. Oh, yes. So they <laughs> do that where it's like one's very tropical and welcoming, then one's like very cold and, and unwelcome. Yeah. So I just think that it sounds really cool. Um, I wish that Disney could have stuck to that for their Guardians, not the Guardians of the Galaxy, but Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Uh, but they turned it into a Star Cruiser. So I'm happy that they didn't do that here at Universal. Yeah. And both uh, hotels are scheduled to open in one scheduled to open in January, the other in February of 2025. And some people have speculated because the room rate does go up in February on February 14th that maybe Epic Universe will be opening up early in February. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say no. I don't think so. Why would a hotel increase the rate on February 14th of any year? Do, do you know what? It, does um, there happen to be a holiday or something? Doesn't it always happen every year for every hotel? I, I Are they all reopening on February 14th? Yeah, I mean... Or is it, like, one of those days where women get, like, chocolates and guys yeah. are, like, looking at their wallet and say, couldn't I get this tomorrow for less? Yeah, so wouldn't that make a hotel go up, go up on February 14th? I mean... Maybe someone uh, wants their date in space and they're charging them for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> right? Now, to their credit, they did say that it continued to stay at that rate or similar. But when I looked it up myself, the rate was lowered like a week later yeah. on a Wednesday to like $168. Yeah. So I'm going to say no. Epic Universe, as exciting as that would be is not going to open in February 2025. At least we don't think so. At least we don't Stranger think so. Stranger things have happened. Yeah. So we're just not... I don't personally think it's going to open that soon, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be around, like, August or late May. Yeah, I could see that. I could see, like, Memorial Day, maybe June. I mean, it could be as late as August, right? They just said summer 2025. Yeah, and the mummy was supposed to be summer, and that was, like, damn near fall. <laughs> well, let's hope it's not a mummy situation. Yeah. 